Recently, Bernie Twitter world has been very kind to billionaire Tom Steyer, 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 um, because it appeared like Steyer, Steyer was cuddling up um, to Bernie and aligning himself more with the left than the center. That was definitely the optics of uh, what was happening. And in fact, they were at a couple of events together, not like they went together, but it's, it was different events for presidential candidates. I believe this one was on Martin Luther King Day. And uh, yeah, a bunch of memes came out of there because uh, Steyer Steyer looked like he was genuinely excited to be around Bernie. And there was that moment when Elizabeth Warren tried to plan it out to tell Bernie, like, did, did you just say I'm a liar on national TV? And Steyer Steyer was right behind them. And uh, he was like, to Bernie, I just wanted to say hi. Tee <laughs> And so, uh, you know, lefty Twitter world was like, oh, okay, maybe Steyer Steyer's not that bad. Also, with uh, Hillary Clinton saying, you know, nobody likes Bernie, Steyer Steyer tweeted, I like Bernie. So there were a couple things he was doing where it was almost like he was trying to hitch his wagon on the winning side of the Democratic Civil War. But, but, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I was always looking at him with an eyebrow raise going, what's your angle, bro? Well, uh, now we know that whoever was skeptical, it was certainly merited. The honeymoon is over. Uh, Steyer Steyer just released a new anti-Bernie Sanders attack ad in, in one of the upcoming states. I'm not sure. I think it's South Carolina, but don't quote me on that. But in one of the upcoming states, might, maybe Nevada, not, not sure, Nevada. You can't say Nevada because then people in Nevada say, that's not how you say it. Um, so it, here it is. Let's watch them all discuss. There's a reason people are nervous about Bernie Sanders scrapping Obamacare. You don't know how much you're playing. You don't know. Nobody knows. Unions don't like it. They want to tell their members that, look, this guy wants to take away your health care. Most Americans know it won't pass. They do not like Medicare for all. And Bernie can't. You're going to propose a plan to the American people and you're going to tell them how much it costs? Or won't give us a price tag. But thankfully, there is a better way. Americans all want the same thing, to reduce costs, expand coverage, and improve quality. And that's exactly what Tom Steyer's public option plan does. Tom's plan doesn't tear down Obamacare, it builds it up, driving down costs while also protecting union negotiated plans. That's how Tom will beat Donald Trump in November, with a plan to make health care a right for every American. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. The only way to make health care a right for every American is to do a Medicare for All plan. So there's a massive contradiction at the heart of that ad. You can't say, well, I have a public option, and I believe health care is a fundamental right. No, if you believe it's a right, you agree with Bernie's plan. Full stop. End of discussion. So I'm tired of, I mean, this is so dishonest. It's disingenuous, it's wrong, it's misleading. Listen, all of these plans that like want to nibble around the edges and do little tweaks and preserve Obamacare but expand it a little bit, you're going to get your ass handed to you on a silver platter and the plan is not going to be that popular because guess what, Obamacare always hovered around 50%. When we talk about single-payer Medicare for all, he says people don't want it. That's not true. The polls show the overwhelming majority of people want it. Even in the exit polls in the first two states in Iowa and New Hampshire, at the lowest number, I believe, was 6 out of 10. In one state, it was 7 out of 10 people. Not only do they want Medicare for all, they say, and this is how the exit poll uh, phrased it, I want to, quote, eliminate private health insurance. See, the propaganda is now falling flat because people are getting more and more educated on this, in, lar in large part because of Bernie Sanders. I mean, people get it now. They understand that the rest of the developed world, uh, every other developed country has one version or another of a universal health care system. And so when Bernie says, I want single-payer Medicare for all, I want health care that's free at the point of service, people go, oh, okay. So that would just catch us up to the rest of the modern world. So all of your fear-mongering is irrelevant. All your fear-mongering is not going to work. This idea that you're going to scare us into wanting to preserve a mafia-like middleman that's ripping us off at every turn. And that's what all the talking points come to when, when they discuss unions. Oh, unions, you get to keep your plans under my bill. Okay, well, thank you for bragging that you're going to allow a mafia middleman to continue to rip off the unions. I got news for you. There are a lot of unions now that support single-payer Medicare for all. 
And of the ones who don't, that's because the union bosses are calling the shots there, and they're in bed with the for-profit health insurance companies and Big Pharma. So it's just, the scare tactics are so fundamentally weak. And all the lies about Bernie, oh my god, he doesn't know how much it's going to cost. How many times, they always clip out the next comment he makes. Now, what's the next comment he makes? It's going to save money! No matter how much the price tag ends up being, it is going to save money. That's a fact. How do I know that? It's not me speaking. It's a very detailed study from the University of Massachusetts Amherst that came out about a year or two ago. And the finding was that over a 10-year period, Medicare for All saves $5.1 trillion. Now, there are lowball estimates and there are high estimates. The lowball estimate is about $2 trillion, and that's from a libertarian Mercatus um, study, which was funded by the Koch brothers. So even in the studies that plan to take down Medicare for All, the results are Medicare for All saves money. Either $2 trillion over 10 years or $5.1 trillion over 10 years. By the way, another study came out just the other day. We're going to talk about it um, later in the show. Now, I was under the impression Medicare for All would save 32,000 to 45,000 lives every single year. Turns out that might be a, a, you know, a lowball estimate. That this new study says Medicare for All would save 68,000 lives every single year. So the question you need to ask Tom Steyer, Steyer is, are you okay with 68,000 people dying every single year because they don't have access to basic health care? Because that's the system you're trying to preserve. Your mild tweaks around the edges aren't going to solve Dickie McGee's axe. I'm so sick of this stuff, man. But anyway, the honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over between Tom Steyer, Steyer and Bernie Sanders, as you can see right here. Everything he was doing was just like, you know, hitching his wagon to the more popular candidate to eventually stab him in the back and hope people don't recognize. Okay, he's trying to have it both ways. Oh, I want to align myself with the most popular guy in the race, but then also... The second is politically convenient, I'll stab him in the back, but more importantly, stab the one of the most important policies Bernie is pushing for in the back. So now you know. Billionaire gonna billionaire. That's what's happening here. And these are vicious, stupid attacks on Medicare for all. Again, how many times have we made this point? How many times have others made this point? Why don't they talk about costs when it comes to war? When it comes to Wall Street bailouts? Those things, they just bake into the cake of democracy and say, what do you mean? That's what We need a military. So shut, shut the hell up. We need a military. So obviously we're going to spend whatever it is now, $750 billion a year, which is insane, more than the next 10 biggest countries combined. Obviously we're going to spend that. What do you mean? we got to protect ourselves. Well, why can't we say the same thing about healthcare? What, what do you mean? How much is it going to cost? We have to protect ourselves. We can't have 68,000 people dying every year because they don't have access to basic health care. We can't have 500,000 people dying because they, or excuse me, 500,000 people going bankrupt because they can't pay medical bills. So notice how selectively they use that logic. It's, it, this is infuriating. But anyway, this is all the more reason to support Bernie, support him vociferously, make phone calls for him, you know, text for him, whatever it may be, knock on doors, talk to your friends, talk to your family, because this is the kind of nonsense. These are the attacks they have, guys. Oh my God, Venezuela. Oh my God, you know, Medicare for all is bad. These, these are the arguments they make because they have nothing. Oh my God, the Bernie bros. Oh, the Bernie bros. The people are so mean to me online, so now I'm not in favor of free college and a living wage and universal health care. Oh, well, then aren't you just a fucking spectacular moron? <laughs> I, lo I love that there's some people out there who actually think like that. Like, man, you know, listen. Did I support everybody having health care? Yes. Did I support ending the wars? Yes. But then, you know... Uh, on Twitter, Bernie Bro six nine six nine tweeted at me, and and it was a picture of a a pig shitting on its own balls. And now I'm against Bernie. <laughs> You're so silly, man. Who cares? Who cares? Judge a candidate by what you think of their followers. And by the way, of course, let me add the idea that Bernie supporters are uniquely mean is not true. Usually, Bernie supporters are responding to somebody saying something really stupid and immoral. And they get angry, so that's freaking justified. But anyway, I digress from that conversation. Tom Steyer Steyer is canceled.